Just today, widen the thin blue line as they were presented their badges at ceremonies in Trenton. Larry Studnagel explains why the new troopers call themselves members of the Fighting 113th. Today's swearing-in ceremony was a long time coming for these troopers. The 113th State Police class was dubbed the Fighting 113th because they literally had to fight for their jobs. This class was first selected back in 1988, but then the state budget crunch hit and the class was canceled. But using $1.6 million in forfeiture funds, money taken from criminals, the legislature and the governor found a way to pay for the troopers. We all want to build in New Jersey where the people of our state can truly be safe and secure. That is the ultimate bottom line. Valles, Paul Jr., Burlington Township. As the men received their badges, they knew they had been down a tough road. Uh, excited, uh, relieved. It's been a long, hard trip. Uh, uh, words can't explain it. There were no women graduating today. The five who were originally part of the class either dropped out or washed out during training. However, the state police have targeted the next class to be 20% female. The Fighting 113th brings the total number of state troopers to 2,462. That's still about 200 shy of what the department would like to be. So in the next budget, Governor Florio is going to propose a 114th graduating class. The state police traditionally allow the fathers and brothers of new troopers to present them with their badges. Today, Marianne Rocap had to fill in for her late husband, who died in a plane crash last January. The class marched out of today's ceremony to a specially written cadence that was led by Trooper Paul Vallis. The emotion felt and the amount of blood, sweat, and tears, like I said, uh, really, uh, I guess I reflected it in my voice and the feeling was <laughs> felt from the heart. So. The Fighting 113th goes to work next Tuesday. Larry Stupnagel, NJN News, Trenton.